was a tough life, a hard life, working from half six in the morning till 12 or after 12 at night. I was supposed to be going to, sent to school because I was being abused by my stepfather in the home and instead I was made work in the Magdalen Laundry and then I was trafficked from New Ross to Athai and then from Athai to the Blind School in Dublin and I'd done four years altogether and then at 16 because I, I asked for, for wages I was thrown out. Because I was in um, Sunday's Well in Cork I was, I was under I was only just gone 13 when I went in there. And uh, when I was put in there, it was on the advice that my father got from nuns and priests in New Ross County, Wexford, telling them, because they were struggling with money and I had two younger brothers, six and seven, and my, the rest of my family were all gone tingling to work at young ages. And they said, well, if you put trees into the convent, it'll be one mouth less to feed. She'll get a great education. And when she comes out, she'll get a good job. And when I came home and told my mother and father I never, ever got any education, that I worked from half five in the morning till half six every evening earning, and not allowed to speak to the person next to me all day long, which we weren't. You weren't allowed to speak all day long. I was uh, born in the county home in Enniscorthy. At the age of two, my mother uh, left the, the, uh, the, the house, the ba mother and baby home, and she escaped out of it and left me behind. When I was three year old I was fostered and then I was, went to a school called Kiltili School. I went there then for f three years and then Mr. my foster father died and then my foster mother got the priest to bring me down to uh, St. Joseph's, uh, 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 the laundry, and they put me in there and I was only eight year old. Eleven because my father died when we were young. My mother remarried and the stepfather didn't want to know us. So they only kept one girl, my younger sister. I was put in the convent, by, uh, brought down by a priest to the convent in Wexford. I should have been going to school there, but they put me in the laundry, the nuns did. And then I ran away when I was 13, came to Dublin, walked all the way to Dublin, I went into the, the Tinker's Caravans and I got food off them and I knew that they wouldn't, they wouldn't get the police for me, you know what I mean, so I was with them. So I walked, they kept walking and I didn't know where I was walking to, but uh, I came through Bray and everything and I eventually landed in O'Connell Street in Dublin. I got two teeth out and during the night my, teeth, my wisdom teeth started to bleed. So this nun came in and just put a, a lump of cotton wool in my mouth. That's all. Never brought me to a, back to a dentist or a doctor or anything. I lost a lot of blood. And I had no home then to live in because I couldn't go back home. And then I went off to England. Worked for a little while to get my fare together and I went to England. And um, then I slept on the streets and lived in parks and had a very tough life up until lately. My life started to get a little bit better and but still the nightmares will always be there with us, what happened to us, hidden tunnels when the inspectors would come and still haven't got justice, proper justice to this day.